Welcome back today guys. Thank you guys for stopping in. I ain't seen you guys in like a week. So this past week we had family in visiting and then we also well today is Sunday afternoon and we just got done having another two and a half inches of rain I think today which is wonderful. So far in my farming career this has been the worst year yet because look this is one of our, this is our bean field right by our shop and it's been so wet we ain't been able to get in here to spray to kill the Johnson grass so finally just a couple days ago we got the co-op come in and spray the beans thank the Lord all of our Johnson grass is starting to die but it's been a nightmare trying to get we still haven't even got corn in the ground yet and it is June 9th today we talked to our agronomist if June 15 throws around and we ain't planted corn yet corn is done for the year what we don't have planted will not get planted and the rest will go into soybeans and when you plant soybeans this way you're pretty much planting a double crop soybean and those probably won't yield very good either so it's not been a good year at all this year has been a one of a kind but we got some footage of the sprayer spraying our beans that we are about to show you right now and then we'll get into today's video from Central City, Kentucky, the home of True Vine Farms, the one and only Farmer King. So during this last week that you guys have not been with us, it's rain, we've had family here visiting. So we just have small projects going here and there. We're working on our trailer right here. And then my dad went out one night and replanted probably about four or five acres of corn that just need to be replanted. So the next step we're gonna have in the field is gonna be one of two things. We're gonna be disking some ground to destroy the previous crop, which is corn right now. And we're either going to get to replant corn or put it in beans and then we have a farm pretty much a field split straight in half between beans and corn or we're going to be spraying the corn that is up out of the ground we're going to be spraying corn so we're going to see how that plays out because only the lord knows how that's going to go so we're going to get ready and we're going to get some stuff ready that sunday afternoon here for our sprayer and we got chickens down this week so we're going to have a pretty busy week and a lot of content for you guys in case you guys were wondering this past week we put a new air conditioner fan on this tractor from where it snapped when we first planted corn so just for the ones of you that don't care you know now rain again this helps a lot so I know for a fact that the ground that we have to spray is going to dry out a whole lot faster than what the ground that we have to replant is so we're going to go ahead and get set up for spraying because that probably with this two and a half inches of rain probably will not be till the end of this week before that happens but you know it never hurts to be ready for something and then maybe we'll plant corn sometime in July we have a mystery on our hands it's so important we're standing out in the rain to figure it out yeah is our little what's her McCall and Dr. my Bob we had mounted to the side of our sprayer here it fills up with water 10 uh, gallons it's got, since we spray yeah like it's, it's empty when we got done with the sprayer and now it's filled up with water and the valve has been off the valve's off the only thing is this blue cap's got to be a dent but we're having trouble figuring out that it's venting to let the water in because we don't see how if there's not like a clear opening for well it's got 10 gallons of water and we sprayed what end of april yeah so June maybe 9. that 22 inches of rain we've gotten equals the 10 gallons of water through that vent that probably could be about right
for our next little adventure here this afternoon. So this truck is an 89 Chevrolet 2500 and in like the past I'd say probably two years it's blown through like four alternators right there. So the last three alternators we've had we all bought from one store and they all have not lasted hardly any time. So now we bought an alternator from a different store and we are it is installed but now we have to put a belt on why do we have to put a belt you show them the old one well the last alternator didn't fall apart like the pulley didn't come off and the belt just rolled off the last alternator locked up and pretty much snapped the belt in half here and that's why we have a new belt now for our next project here we are down here at the chicken houses tomorrow house is one and the house behind me are selling basically means the birds are leaving and they're gonna go to pretty much Walmart is where they're going actually I know for a fact they're going to a Walmart that's where they are headed first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close the slides on house one because I believe this barn starts catching at 6 in the morning and we're gonna we have to shut their feet off so that way they have an empty stomach when they go into the plant so we're gonna close the gates down there on the hopper and we're gonna run our auger out of feed and we're gonna try to get all our feed out of the out of the feed lines inside the barn. So we have the blessed privilege of owning this 2023 Workmaster 95 Poultry Edition Chicken House tractor. And we also have the blessing of making the payment on it every month. But here is our wind roller. So tomorrow you guys will see this thing in action. And stay tuned because we, for the ones of you who have chicken houses, and you know what this is. It's a wind roller. You'll see what it does. Well, I would say good morning, guys, but I'm just going to say good evening and look at our nighttime farming going on out there. We are getting ready to spray tomorrow. And it just happens to be that we're catching chickens right now. So if we do this like tomorrow morning in the like morning time, that we'd have semis blocking our drive to get into our water room. So we're gonna, we're just 9.30 out here chilling at night. Putting about, I think we're filling up to like 1200 gallons in our tank, take to our sprayer. And right now we are 200 gallons into it. And we got 1000 gallons to go. Now we are only, since we are still in the middle of planting season, unfortunately on June 10th we are spraying a f fraction of our corn acres that is planted and growing and not you know rot it out in the ground so really we only need like a 900 and some gallons of water we're gonna put 1200 in there just to be safe and some of you may be asking since we have a 1000 gallon sprayer why we don't just fill the sprayer up like I said trucks are blocking the drive and we need a self-propelled sprayer. That's one of the things on the need list. And we need a bigger planter. We really need some another farm truck like the one we're using right now. But you know those are, it's a F-350 and it's a new one. Or newer one. So yeah, we're, we've done maxed out on like the payments we can manage. We got like two tractors to finish paying off and a truck to pay off, you know. It's just not a good time to add anything to the payments considering we ain't even planted our corn this year. Did I do a good job there, you know, like dramatizing this episode? Like, you know, like for the ones you've watched Gold Rush. Gold Rush is a good one. We gotta like we need to dramatize this, you know, like if we don't get our corn planted by June fifteenth, which is in five days, and we still got lakes in our fields that we're gonna go bankrupt and we ain't gonna be able to farm next year and you know I feel like I'd be really good at that. Just think, like in Gold Rush, when they're always yelling "Shut her down, shut her down," we we need to come up with like we need to come up with like a slogan for like farming. You know, like I don't know, what would be a good slogan? Like "Shut her down," but we need a, something farming related. I'm still thinking of a slogan. We may get there eventually, but we got all the water. Oh, we got all the water we need now, and he's putting. in well we had some complications and we forgot a hose that we needed to connect the well let's just say we have two male ends on a hose and there was no female end so 
that don't work. So we had or we had to take the lid off the top of the tank to get water in there. But we are good to go now. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope they enjoy it. Remember, faith, family, farm. See you in the next one.